Look, when I started this, that is something nobody told me about the sexuality that's gonna come, especially during my ovulation. I told my 20s ovulation was cray cray, but you see, as a 30 something year old woman, ha, ovulation be crazy, crazy. Like, there are days you almost feel like, oh my goodness, why am I single? What happened to me? Why don't I even like that guy? I don't know. Is he that bad? How am I sure God really spoke his own word to me? That's how much ovulation can make you start thinking. But look, it's all a trap. And I'm here to have us talk about how we can manage our sexual needs as single women in our 30s. people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Anos Asi and i'm super excited to have you here we are all you for a dvd and we do not take it from them so thank you so much for joining my channel thank you so much for always you know subscribing you guys keep subscribing to my channel and i do not take it for granted please do not forget to like this video do not forget to subscribe again and do not forget to share your comments in the comment section because i know that this particular video is going to be very interesting especially for my girls in their therapies Come, let us talk. There are things that we hardly want to talk about, you know, especially as Christian women, Christian single women in, in our 30s. As Christian single women, there's some things that we do not really talk about. I understand that we all have different system. We'll all have been exposed to different things at, you know, <laughs> at different points in time. And this is going to be my take. Experience has taught me now that it is better for you to not just enter into a relationship for relationship's sake. And if even if you're not going to eventually be in a relationship, look, it is safer for you guys not to even do anything sexual. It is safer for you guys not to kiss, it's safer for you guys not to do all these things because when the relationship breaks and let's say you're no longer in a relationship at all, you see that exposure that your body has gained as hard, it will take time for your body to now twist back to being alone and this is what happens to a lot of people that any small thing they have entered relationship it's, it's 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 because their body has been too exposed to people having to you know be with somebody that emotional whatever that physical touch and everything their body has become so exposed to it so when there is nobody at all they begin to feel somehow and that's how they just you know keep dating and dating and dating the first point i'm going to tell you here for for free you don't really have to enter into a relationship and do all those things you should let the boundaries be clear cut there are some people that they will not do sex but they've do they've done other things surrounding sex now if you've done foreplay very well in a certain relationship and it didn't work what happens is when that relationship is off you see that foreplay need especially during ovulation it starts coming and you would realize that oh you have exposed your body to something that you shouldn't have exposed your body to in the first place now the second thing is this ovulation is crazy in your 30s ovulation is very crazy in, in, in your 30s now this is also based on exposure for so for someone like me i have I had dated you know and I, I did you know the kissing thing and all right it was void of sex but there was little foreplay here and there okay now the period when i was very single right that i didn't have any relationship at all made ladies and gentlemen it was not funny because that exposure especially during ovulation it's just spirals it just spirals you just you're just everywhere you just want someone to touch you you just want somebody to hold you you just want someone to cancel you you just because of the exposure now for someone who has never had that kind of thing before or never exposed himself maybe emotionally psychologically through content or whatever so that kind of thing their own pressing will not be as much as the one who has exposed themselves let's be real here let's seek this speak the truth the way the truth is it's not going to be so deep as the one who has really 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 been exposed to it can be very frustrating and now what do you do you just have to get busy and when i get mean get busy i don't mean masturbation i mean that my dear dancing away ah dancing 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 
ah okay let's get you in dance because now this is for those that really want to really want to honor god with their bodies right and this is what i preach on this channel if you want to honor god with your body you would look for something you would dance it away you will watch you would decide not to watch all those alluring content emotionally alluring content content that would make you want to be so no shame want you to be so this and that you are not going to watch that kind of content that's not the kind of content that you're going to expose yourself to and then you can have someone that you can talk to a female friend most especially don't talk to a male friend talk to a female friend that my goodness this is what is going on with me or please or both of you can stop you know speaking in tongues you can speak in tongues you can walk around you can decide to have power over your mind because the power is in you and then you have all the spirit to to help you okay so the power is in you get it out of your mind jesus you know in the name of jesus by the spirit of the lord because once you do this the first time you do this the second time this is the third time you do this the fourth time it's not going to come again the fifth time your body would understand that look this has changed this routine has changed this thing has changed and everything the ovulation process that i've seen so far in my 30s has been very crazy before ovulation i have cram i have i have crumbs i have all those things then ovulation itself the urge the sexual needs i'm gonna say is as it as it is the sexual needs top of the roof top of the roof like and that's always the time i don't know if this happens to you my ladies that's always the period where those boys begin to get into your dm begin to talk to you begin to say hi to you it's a trap of the enemy the enemy wants you to shimari you, but you are not going to shimari because how will you just pick a life bank because of ovulation of how many days no now no it's of some of you are watching this video now it's ovulation that has allowed you to be in that relationship and you know it's a better go and break it because at the end of the day you will allow ovulation of three days to pick your life partner for you a lifelong decision so you're not going to do that how do you manage it my darling sister my darling sisters and sisters dance get an accountability partner speak in the holy ghost do all these things because it will help your mind train your mind then train your mind to be settled like look man has not come so you have to you have to operate whether it is raining whether the weather is so cold and then you are looking for something it didn't matter man has not come and when i mean man i mean husband you know has not come so we're not going to be doing all those things <coughs> be very careful it's not during ov ovulation that you know that your body is doing somehow somehow that you're not gonna be watching bridgerton you can't be watching all this you know sexual etc., etc., something you are just putting yourself from fire pan to fire and that's how people begin to masturbate because the body now becomes so heightened the body cannot cannot um take it anymore the body begins to feel that heat eh? so then they begin to use anything that they see as a means to get what they want to get don't worry the man is going to come and then you can use also use that this that period to tell father you see what i'm going through and do that yeah father you see what i'm going through i'm very good let <laughs> this man be coming i make i make i make you can see it. it's that easy okay there are some people that don't feel it at all so i also learned that I'm still on that journey, but I also learned that prayer can kill it. So you can pray to God that you don't want to feel this thing until the right time, okay? Like until marriage, you don't want to feel it at all. There are people that said that they prayed about it and, you know, it never came until. And so I'm also on that journey. So we can be praying. So, sister, let's hold hands. Let's hold hands, sis. Let's hold hands, sis. Let's hold hands. Okay, so we can you can also do that. We pray about it. Tell God about it. Father, keep this thing. I don't want it until the right time okay my ladies i'd like to hear your comments in the comment section this is such a very interesting content and i know that you have one or two things to say so please let me know in the comment section what have you been doing as a remedy godly remedy you guess what i'm preaching here <laughs> okay so let me know in the comments okay and if you have questions to drop in the comments i'm looking for content ideas please if you have any drop in the comments for me i love you all thank you so much for being here my name is Onozasi, and this is salvation therapy love you